Association is a nonprofit association based in the United States, and our principal goal is about educating the marketplace and then working in conjunction with Vote Hemp to push forward legislation in the United States. Okay, great. Simple explanation. Could you tell me a little bit about the United States treatment of hemp? Um, I understand it's not legal to grow in many parts of the country. That's right. Well, currently, federally in the United States, the cultivation of industrial hemp is legally not allowed. Now, we do have an amendment to the Farm Bill that has passed on February, okay. in, in February, which would then would allow any state that recognizes industrial hemp as an agricultural crop to move it forward with research trials. So we are moving forward towards federal recognition, but we're waiting for our federal bills to pass through both the House and the Senate. Okay, great. Um, and are there any countries whose hemp regulations you see as a good model to follow? The Canadian regulations make a lot of sense, but I think there has to be a combination of the Canadian regulations, the Australian regulations, and the EU regulations all really to form what now is a growing industry. Our Canadian regulations are actually underneath a federal review right now, so we're even asking, even though they are really good functioning regulations, that we revisit those as they've been in place since 1998. Right, yeah, that's quite a while. getting the message out there. And what we've done to overcome that challenge is we've created Hemp History Week. We're gearing up for our fifth annual Hemp History Week. And of course, this is a national education campaign, grassroots education campaign all throughout the United States. So from that, we're really engaging people to become involved and to start having these conversations. And now with over 25 states in 2014 and Puerto Rico pushing forward with legislation on the state level, you're getting a lot more people wanting to come forward and talk about it. And consumer activism, but also agricultural activism is really important. Okay, so people are getting involved. So let's end with a fun question. Hemp is used in a lot of food products, but what other uses does it have? Oh, hemp cream can be used as an animal bedding, as a building material. I think building materials is really the next upcoming, but we have to have the test and research. Also, animal feed, I think, is really exciting. Nanotechnology is a next level of really higher of higher processing of, of using the material. And I think that right now we're in, a, in an age where so many people are, are inventing what's the next thing. So as myself, I love to see people's hemp dreams come true. And that is about, like you said, having fun. And that's one of the things that this crop does do. Is it, it is a crop that allows you as a business person to have fun with what you're doing. Okay, that sounds great. Um, thank you for joining thank me Thank you, today. Charlotte. Um,